Hey everybody, welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. Today we've got a great video. I've got Tim here with me and uh, we're excited about showing you guys some fall color today. Yeah, some of our trees are in fall color. We're here at the beginning of November of 2022. So we decided we'd come through here and show you all some of the plants really just playing some good fall color. And we just happen to be standing right next to the Cigar Nishki. I love what this plant does in the early spring with that yellow uh, thick bordered variegation. Really awesome, but I mean with this fall color, it's pretty awesome as well. Yeah, this has so many unique characteristics. It's like one of the few maples where you get that nice yellow variegation to it. Uh, really stands apart from a lot of the other uh, varieties. And then with this amazing like yellows to orange, even some reds in there. I mean, it really shows out in the fall. It, it caught our eye as soon as we came in here. This, uh, what a great plant. Yeah, I love Cigar Nishki. Give it some protection from the hot afternoon sun, but really push that morning sun for the best variegation. Love that plant, what that plant can do with the variegation. But then see that and then realize you can get some good fall color out of the plant too. That's pretty awesome. Oh man, we have so many to talk about in here. I mean, there's so many different varieties in fall color right now. We just really wanted to show, showcase some of these. Here we've got uh, yellow threads. Check, check this out, thing out. Check out yellow threads. Wow. I mean, this thing is just electric. It's just really putting on a good display right before it gets starts getting some oranges in this thing. The springtime, this thing really gives some good yellow color with a yellow green, one of the most yellow green lunar lobum types, but then also this amazing fall color. So you get a good mid-sized lunar lobum style. It's probably one of my, my favorite uh, introductions of Town's newer introductions. Yeah. I mean, it's not a ghost type, but this is one that really stands out from a lot of the plants that's out there. I mean, this adds such a unique texture to your garden. I mean, that's, that's one of the things I always love to think about with color and texture. And this gives you both. I mean, amazing fall color, amazing spring color. And then that, that linear lobum leaf just gives you such a unique texture in the garden. Yeah. Yeah, so next up here, I just caught this. Look at this. This is uh, Acer Palmatum Nebula. This thing is just really lighting up right now. Super bold red on that. Uh, what a great plant. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those new ghost types that gives you some of that reticulated color. And it's kind of crazy because you actually see some green in here, but then that bold red with that. I mean, as a reticulated Japanese maple, this plant is amazing but then you also get this good fall color. And it's just amazing these plants that Japanese maples can give you all these different things throughout the seasons. I mean, fall color is one of the things that people note about Japanese maples, but when you see this tree in the spring with those reticulated uh, nebula-like yeah. variegation, and then you see this in the fall color, it's a dynamic contrast from spring to fall. Yeah, it's amazing how the transition that they go through. Um, you know, just so many color changes, and uh, nebula just really does give you all of that interest in your spring you're going to have that amazing reticulation on that and then go into this bright red in the fall just really makes this i think a, a, a plant for every garden yeah love nebula pretty awesome plant i mean next up we've got sukasa silhouette oh, yeah i mean you see this thing uh sukasa silhouette is that narrow green upright but then again you're seeing it starting with some really good fall color right now some of the new growth up here hasn't quite got the same fall colors down here but really giving you some really nice shades of oranges and reds. Yeah, I mean, this is going to draw your eye upward too with that nice narrow columnar habit that it has. And just the amazing fall color on this. I mean, just think of that pillar just standing tall in the garden, just lighting up that space. You can put it in a lot of different areas. Very heat tolerant as well. So you can grow this in full sun. Uh, this is such a great plant for all kinds of different landscapes and gardens. I love it because it's so heat tolerant. I love yeah. it because of its narrow shape. The one tip I always want to give people with Sukasa Silhouette, don't grow it in full shade. If you grow it in full shade, it will grow wider. If you grow it in the sunlight, it will actually grow up more narrow. So that's a key tip for Sukasa Silhouette, but love that plant, super heat tolerant. And as you can see, it's got some really good fall color as well. Absolutely, yeah. Man, it's, it's hard to pick, you know, what, what do you talk about next? I mean, there's so many amazing <laughs> varieties in here. And, uh, you know, we're all the time trying to look for plants that Gonna get you guys excited about this. Now this is one I had never heard before. And uh, Tim, why don't you tell us a little bit more about this? Yeah, Chugaji. This is a plant that gives a really nice purple border in the early spring. Uh, as you can see, it goes, to, it goes a little more green during the summer, but then the fall color really gives you some really nice shades of orange to red. Uh, rare selection from Japan. You don't see that often in the nursery trade. Um, again, it's one that we hadn't offered that much here at Mr. Maple, but it is coming to a 10 at 10 near you. Yeah. So make sure you sign up for our weekly emails, because if you're not signed up for our weekly emails, you may miss out when some of these new plants hit. 
sometimes they sell out really quickly. So make sure you sign up for that weekly email and also make sure you like and subscribe to this, our YouTube channel. One thing cool about this particular house that we're going through, this is a lot of stuff that is kind of the up and coming product yeah. here at Mr. Maple. So it gets me excited to take a walk through here and see what we have to offer. I see something kind of cool right there. Tim. Yeah. Let's pick up that. Now this is a Makawi Yatsubusa ceiling. Now we will evaluate these Makawi Yatsubusa ceilings to make sure they don't beat anything that we've already yeah. selected out there. Like, you know, we'll compare it with Red Panda and other types and see how they compare and contrast with each of the types that are out there. Um, but this one here really showing some good yellow fall color, yeah. which is kind of interesting because a lot of times you get more oranges and reds. Yeah, this is just a great example of kind of the versatility you're going to find when you collect seedlings. I mean, sometimes it's not going to be anything that stands out too far, but as you can see here, we've got a little bit of variance here in the fall color, which is not typical for, for Makawa to go to a yellow. Um, but it, what a great example of, of a seedling here of Makawa Yatsubusa. Yeah, definitely pretty cool. And look at that Tromborgen fall oh, color. Man, let's check this out. <clears throat> So, you know, Trompenburg, I, I think is kind of like, you know, when a, a red upright that a lot of people don't think about, they usually think of a blood good or something like that. Uh, this just gives you some amazing uh, leaf shape. I love just that little curling of the leaf that it has on it. Yeah. It's such a cool plant. And the thing is a hybrid with Shirasol and people don't talk about that. Yeah. But Core uh, was there when his dad found this under Shirasol and Palmetifolium at, I believe it was Arboretum... It was another Arboretum, and they took that seedling that they'd found to Arboretum Trompenburg. Amazing plant with that cup down foliage, but the fall color, it's electric. Yeah. I mean, and and that's, it's one of the better fall colors of a red upright. I mean, it consistently gives you that brighter orange red fall color. Mm -hmm. Definitely a very cool plant. I mean, what else can we talk about? I know there's so many different plants in here. <laughs> now, this one is starting some fall color. Acer Palmatum Golden Falls, but this is nothing like the one that Francis oh, was man. taking photos of and posting in the Mr. Maple Friends group on Facebook. I'll tell you it's what. Nothing, it's not nearly as orange as the one that was outside in the environment. This is such an underrated plant for fall color. We always talk about the spring, the yellows. We all love yellows. That gives you some great yellows in the spring, but the fall color on this is really extraordinary. I mean, I think it gives you a lot of multicolors in that. Oranges, reds, yellows. I mean, just a great plant overall for fall color. Golden Falls love this plant for what you can do with it. If you haven't checked out our video on uh, how to grow a Japanese maple in a hanging basket, Brian's got a lovely one of these growing in a hanging basket, but the fall color is just out of this world on this plant. Yeah. And this one's just starting, but I had to mention it because Francis posted some crazy awesome photos of the one in a hanging basket showing some killer fall color. Yeah, and check out also, we have a video just about hanging baskets, growing Japanese maples in hanging baskets. Such a unique thing to be doing. So, so a lot of people are trying it and we kind of give you some tips and tricks on how to do that and what cultivars work best for that. So make sure to check that video out. Look at that orange Ola. Wow, man, we got to grab that. <clears throat> I mean, orange yola is like the most extreme uh, weeping, cascading plant of all the dissectums. You know, it's just amazing. Yeah, and it gets its name from the orange-red spring new growth. You know, what it typically goes is an orange-red in the fall. And this shows a good example of that where you get some red, but you also may get some orange-red. And that can be environmental. But the thing where this gets its name is from the orange-red new growth. Yeah. And people often get misconstrued on that because fall color can change based on environment, based on sunlight, uh, as we learned with Augustine Coelho's uh, presentation at the Maple Society meeting. But amazing, amazing fall color shown right now in this orangeola. I mean, vigorous grower too. You know, uh, orangeola is gonna get out there pretty quickly and it just has a gnarly growth habit too. I just love how it just contorts and twists and, and weeping straight down. Uh, just a fun plant for any garden. Yeah, that one's pretty awesome. Check this one out. We've got Acer Japonicum vitifolium. Yeah, I'll, I'll hold this in front of me so you can really get that red color. I mean, it's just popping right now for sure. <laughs> this plant is amazing. I love this plant. As a big large leaf Japonicum, this one really fits the bill. I mean, it gives you good fall color. I've heard people call this the grapevine maple. I don't really like that comparison, yeah. but the leaf is really large like a, a grape leaf. And I understand where they get that from but it's probably one of the, the larger leaf japonicum selections. And the fall color is always fantastic, whether it be orange, 
or bold red or infused with yellows. Yeah. Vitafolium always puts on a good display. Yeah, what you're seeing here is kind of sometimes the finale of that fall color. You know, you kind of go through so many transitions, starting with yellows and oranges and then ending in this amazing bold red. Uh, I mean, the japonicums, I mean, nothing really compares when it comes to fall color. I mean, yeah. They're just amazing for that. Yeah, and they're always consistent too, which is one of the things I really love about yeah. them. Now, next up here, we've got Acer Olive Veranum Hot Blonde. Yeah, look at this thing. I mean, you know, Hot Blonde is like the, the pinnacle plant, I think, for all gardens. I mean, because you can grow it in so many different types of gardens and so many different sun versus shade ratio. And, uh, you know, normally you would see like a, like a super hot pink uh, red color on this in the fall. But we're getting some unique yellows and splotches of reds. It's just, it's a great plant. It, this shows how you can get some variability inside of a cold frame yeah. that you don't get normally out in the landscape. Mm -hmm. And uh, part of that is because we've already gotten down to 25, 27 degrees right. multiple times here yeah. at the nursery. And, and then things warm back up. And yeah. then things yeah. warm back up. So <laughs> there's definitely some variation in that because of that. But this one typically gives you a really nice bold orange red kind of color yeah and uh, just so cool how you see just the sort of this malting across it in this one i thought i had to get it on camera Absolutely. hot blonde's one of our favorite trees i mean this tree just really puts on a show in the spring the summer fast and a, grower i mean this thing is just all around and, one of my and again plants. in the and again in the fall I, yeah i love that plant <clears throat> let's uh, move along here uh this one is a uh, one that i've kind of recently discovered and uh it's a great talon buckholz introduction uh acer palmatum diva yeah, Diva. It's one that likes to steal the show in the spring. Yeah, and that, that's really why it gets the name Diva, is because in the springtime it really can have some nice uh, nail-like purple-red kind of border to it. Uh, but then the fall color, I yeah. mean, it tries to steal the show in the fall as well. Yeah, you know, I took some pictures of this this spring and they were just so vibrant. People were like, that can't be real. And I'm like, it is, man. I'm like <laughs> going through the nursery and all the different greenhouses taking pictures. And uh, so it looks like I need to get back out here and take some pictures of this fall color as well. Cause I mean, it's, it's definitely a very bold red. I love just that splash of red in the garden. If you got something like a yellow threads to pair with that, just imagine that contrast and color. I really love this cultivar. <laughs> I, I hope you all have enjoyed this fall color walkthrough of this greenhouse. Yeah. I mean, we saw this house was in fall color. We knew we could come in here and capture some cool stuff. I hope you've really enjoyed this video. I mean, we enjoy going through and looking at these plants and seeing what yeah. they're doing. And I really hope that you all have done it as well. Absolutely. We love these walkthrough Wednesdays. Probably one of my favorite videos to edit and put together and just share it with you guys. Because it gets, you know, it kind of gives us a, a way to show all different types of gardens and greenhouses. And it's just a really cool way to share plants. Make sure you, if you like this video, like this video on YouTube. That helps more people see it. Comment in the comment section. Get involved in the live chats on future videos. I mean, there's such a great community there in the live chats. You know, we really appreciate you watching these videos. Make sure you're subscribed and share our gardening videos. That helps us a bunch, but what helps us the most is by shopping on mrmaple.com. So take care. God bless. Have a great day.